Join us today as we head out of 240 out of downtown Asheville and explore what Monford is like, the historic district of Asheville, North Carolina. Let's go. I'm Beth Shadler and we are Living in Asheville, where we explore what it's like to live, sleep, eat, work, play in Asheville, North Carolina and the surrounding mountain towns. I'm a realtor and it's my absolute passion and pleasure to help people move to the area. We get calls and texts and emails every single day from people like you who are looking to move to Asheville. So if that's you, whether it's nine days or 90 days from now, whether you're moving across the country or across town, be sure to get in touch and give me a call or shoot me an email, send me a text. We can set up a Zoom meeting if you wish, and I would be glad to help create a personalized moving plan for you. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at the historic district of Montford. And if you'd like to learn more about Asheville in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Montford is located north of downtown Asheville between Broadway Street and I-26, bordered with, uh, on the north of UNCA, the University of North Carolina. Now, let's take a closer look at some of Montford's gems. We'll roam the streets, look at the homes for sale, and check out some local businesses. So, Montford as we see it today has not always been like this. In fact, Montford wouldn't even be here, really, if it wasn't for someone bailing it out years ago. So, Montford started about in 1893, and it was just normal people living their lives, like, very close to the city of Asheville. I mean, if you look down the street right here, down there is downtown Asheville. It is maybe a three minute walk to the heart of downtown Asheville from here. So back in the day, this was a suburb of Asheville and now it's pretty much part of downtown Asheville. And there are cute restaurants like All Day Darling that we just passed a minute ago where you can meet for great pastries and home baked bread. And then there are beautiful historic homes of all different types of architectural style. I mean, you have arts and crafts and Queen Anne and shingle homes here. You have all different kinds that were built in different times. Now keep in mind, the, the city of Asheville is uh, not silly. They know what they're doing, especially when it comes to zoning and rules and regulations, when it comes to updating or lawn care in this historic district. There is 110 pages of rules and restrictions that you have to consider when buying a home in Montford. So make sure you're aware of those if that is a consideration. It's a beautiful place to be because it is so historic and they want to preserve that, of course. So the Montford of times past, like I said, were just ordinary folks. I mean, they were people who were middle class, who had jobs that maybe needed to be in the city, whatnot. And Montford is over 300 acres, really, really close to downtown. And now it's really developed, of course, and the lots are not really big, but the homes are magnificent because they exude this character and this charm that you just don't find with new construction. Now, what's cool about Montford is it's very walkable streets. I mean, there's sidewalks everywhere, and you don't find that everywhere in Asheville, so it's really quite special. And then there's a great community feel to it, too. I mean, like, look at this, multi-family sale on Sunday. And then there's neighborhood restaurants. So imagine living in this beautiful historic home right near downtown Asheville and having access to a place like Tall John's. Now this hasn't been here for a long time. It's fairly new, so we'll see what happens. But this would be like a really fancy version of a neighborhood diner. So let's look and see what they have. They have like marinated olives and brie and freshly squeezed orange juice. I will take that. So this is, a, this is like a neighborhood hangout, I'm sure, where you can see all your friends and neighbors pass by and, and have a glass of Chardonnay. I'd do it. Let's keep going. So 
if you're thinking about buying a home in Montford, it might be a good idea to know the median sales price. It's about 636, so it's a little bit less than I thought it would be. The average days on market for a home in Montford is six days, so you kind of have to be ready to rock if you're interested in this area. Hi. Hey. So now we're going to explore a home in the heart of Monford. And a lot of these homes, because they are historic and a little bit older, have been completely restored. And this is one of those examples. So this home that we're going to look at just went on the market and went under contract. It is not closed yet, but pretty close to it. And you can look at how much land it has, not much in the front, but it's super cute and really well maintained. It has been completely restored inside, beautiful blue color. Um, it was only on the market for a few days. Let me look and see how many days it was on the market. Two days, y'all. So this is the uh, the asking price for this is nine ninety five. It's two thousand square feet. It has four bedrooms total and two baths. Built in nineteen ten. So you can imagine the character and detail inside that home, which I'm sure has been left while including all the updates. So we'll see what that actually goes for, but I bet it's not too far off from that asking price. So one of the integral parts of the Monford neighborhood has been its community center, and it's evolved through the years. It used to be a hub for all the people in town to come play basketball and hang out, and different communities interact with each other um, around the Monford area. And with time, it's really developed. It's called the Tempe Avery Monford Center. Now, they have renamed it because this is Tempe Avery. She is well, well known in Asheville because she was of historical and civic significance to the city of Asheville through her work as a nurse and midwife. And they have dedicated this community center to her. So there are two main parks in Montford, and we are going to check out one of them. It has big slides and lots of fun, and it's kind of attached to the community center. Ooh, look down here, look it up, look at these huge slides. Imagine living next door to a playground like that, with those mountains as a backdrop. It's probably hard to see on video though. Shooting some b-ball outside of school. Just notice this little like frog statue here. And then once I noticed this frog statue, then I noticed, oh, there's lots of other little metal statues all over this yard. And that kind of tells you a little bit about Asheville in general. The Monford Park Players presents Shakespeare in the Park. And Shakespeare in the Park is so much fun because it's free. It's donation based, so you can kind of go and bring the whole family. And they do funny renditions, typically kind of humorous, of Shakespeare. And they sell concessions. I think they sell wine and beer as well. And you just make a donation as you wish. So it allows a little bit of fun culture that's accessible to all. This is a sign that highlights all the donors. So it's donation based and free for the community. want to get a feel for what it's like to perform here, I could do a little Shakespeare for you. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore out the Romeo? I think this is the, where the distinct line is between where Monford and Stumptown ends and then the rest of kind of north west Asheville kind of starts because I don't believe that these homes would comply with the typical architecture of Montford. But they are cool to look at and they're kind of artsy and fun. So as we're walking along, I just noticed that there is a little house that says Mercy, Contemplation, Acceptance, and it has some sidewalk chalk. And also on the other side says Gratitude, Grace, and Kindness. And doggy bags if you have a dog and then you can kind of draw along these people's uh, wall in the front and it's really sweet so right outside on the side of Montford is the Riverside Cemetery 
And this has been here since 1885. It's quite historic in itself. And there's a lot of really prominent Asheville names that are buried here, like Thomas Wolfe and O. Henry. And if you look here, there's a quote from Thomas Wolfe. It says, when he came to the gate of the cemetery, he found it open. As he approached the family plot, his pulse quickened a little. And this is from Look Homeward Angel. Now, this cemetery overlooks the French Broad River, hence the name Riverside Cemetery. And a lot of the local people come here because it's absolutely beautiful. There's artisanal um, gravestones and it just has a peaceful quality to it. Plus, it's 87 acres. So there's plenty of room to walk your dog and kind of be at peace and just spend some time in nature and with your ancestors if you have them here. So in 1979, there was something that was going on in Montford that was kind of shocking. All the, not all the homes, but a lot of the homes were being demolished. They were being torn down and there was rubble everywhere and construction zones and things like that. And this is before it was really considered a historic district and it caused a lot of alarm because people are like, these are gorgeous homes. We can't just knock them down and build something new. So they got together and created the historic district of Monford and kind of saved it. Some homes like pictured in the back here were lost, but a lot of them were preserved through the strength of these people standing up and saying, hey, listen, this is important. Let's not do this. So also back in the day, there used to be a streetcar that this is Monford Ave right now that ran up and down Monford Avenue and would take people from downtown all the way to their homes. Now that's of course no longer happening, but there are like little tourist trolleys that go around. But how cool would that be if there actually was a streetcar that still existed that went up and down Montford Ave? Now here you'll find in the little corner neighborhood shop, there's a convenience store. Um, it doesn't have a lot in there, but it has a few. It's, a cor it's the corner store, y'all. And it's open quite often. And um, then as we walk along here, there is a wonderful Jamaican restaurant called Nine Mile, and it's quite famous. <laughs> Woo! So, Nine Mile has, oh, incredible. What's my favorite thing? The Negril, Negril Nights. It's like this coconut curry meal over uh, linguine, but you can also get it spiraled squash style. So it has less carbs and it is to die for. And then we can't forget about the Monford Arts Festival, which is the longest standing single day festival in the Asheville area. And that's where they close down Monford Ave and they bring in musicians and artists and all the neighbors come out and they see everybody and people come from all over the place. And it's a super rocking fun time. Once a year, every year, for years and years. Okay, so one thing besides Airbnbs that Asheville's kind of famous for is its bed and breakfast, the original Airbnbs. So most of these homes are the oldest of the historic homes in the Asheville area. And there are maybe six or seven really famous um, bed and breakfasts in the Asheville area. And they're always historic. They always possess tons of charm. It's easy access to downtown when you're visiting. There's always going to be a story that you can tell your friends when you get home about your bed and breakfast, breakfast experience in Asheville. And it's just convenient and it's cool. You're a world away from the hustle and the bustle of downtown and like engulfed in these uh, canopies of trees and nature um, right here in Asheville. See, here's another one next door. There's bed and breakfast right next door to each other. And you're always going to find these like really big porches and um, nice landscaping and probably some really nice hosts um, at any of these. Here's the inn on Montford. I have to stop here for a minute as we're walking down the road because I think I found my dream house. It's not for sale, but maybe one day it will be. I love that yellow front door. 
and the gravel pathway to the front, and there's a large level yard. I could imagine me with my gardening gloves out here on a nice spring day, working with the hydrangea. <laughs> Okay, so not all houses in Mumford are the same. They're not all super fancy, um, but some are really cool. So this blue house is one of the first houses that we stayed at in Mumford when we were visiting when we were living overseas. And we rented a home here with our daughter. And it was really fun because there was other homes, I mean, other rooms in the home that was for, for rent. And we got to have a shared kitchen. We met lots of people. We were able to walk downtown. Um, in retrospect, comparatively, it looks like it needs a little work, but hey, it was definitely a good time. So one of the cool things about these homes are the windows. I guess they're good and bad and could be cool per se, no pun intended. Um, they're incredibly ornate, but you get that really nice look, but sometimes it's not going to be as efficient as you'd want. This is one of my favorite houses in Monford. Check it out. It's this lavender color and Oh, I love the yard, and I love how big the front porch is. I probably shouldn't be in their yard, but hey, I can pretend like I live here. They have a really nice sitting porch and beautiful canopy of trees. I love it. And one of the really great things about that lavender house is it's right next door to the Montford Park. And the Montford Park is a wonderful gathering place for everyone in the community. There's a lot of acreage here. And walking paths and basketball courts. I think there's tennis courts here too. I know we there's a sandbox that we took the kids to and it joins up with the other side of Montford. So the whole community has easy access to it. So here we are on Tacoma Circle in Montford, and I think this is absolutely adorable where this little free library is an exact replica of the house behind it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I think find that very endearing. And we're going to cross the street to the other side now, and traffic is getting a little bit more heavy because everyone's getting off work. Hi. And here we have a home for sale. It's been on the market for one day. And so I wanted to look it up and see uh, what the situation was with it. It's coming on the market at 945. It is almost 2,800 square feet, so quite a lot. It has three beds and two baths. And it's interesting, because when we looked it up on Google Maps, it was all blurred out. So they must have requested that it not be able to be seen on Google Maps. And so we were thinking, like, why, why would you do that? Like, why are you paranoid? Um, <laughs> and so when I looked at the description a little bit more, I saw that this is a piece of unique history, and there's lots of really famous artists and people that are well known that have lived in this home before and they don't even tell you on the listing on the listing uh, page here who they are they say please contact the listing agent for a specific list of famous guests so whoo it's very elusive um it's on 0.6 acres so not a lot of land but cute as a button and there's definitely probably some stories that can be told from this home So here we are at the Wright House, which is another bed and breakfast in Montford, built in 1899. It's one of the most historic ones. It's a Victorian mansion that's been totally redone. So here we have it. This is our tour of Montford. And if you want to join us for more hidden, secret, wonderful neighborhood nooks and tricks and tips for Asheville, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell down below, and you'll be alerted every time we make a new video for you. We are living in Asheville. Thanks for joining us. Ciao for now.